The Latin League was an alliance of around 30 cities, villages, and tribes on the Apennine Peninsula, founded in the 6th century BC. Around 498 BC, the alliance with the Roman Republic became involved in a war that was probably about removing the supremacy of the city of Rome. The wars essentially consisted of mutual raids. The actual reason that led to the outbreak of open hostilities is not known. Only Titus Livius mentions that the regent of Tusculum, Octavius Mamilius, had incited the Latin tribes against the Roman Republic. A victory for the Latin League would enable his exiled father-in-law, Lucius Tarquinius Superbus, to return to Rome. The climax of the conflict was the Battle of Regillus Lacus, which may have only been legendary, as there are no reliable eyewitness accounts. Only the Homeric-style accounts of the battle handed down by Livy and Dionysius are available. The years 509 and 496 as well as 493 BC are considered possible dates for the battle. According to Roman tradition, the Roman army defeated the troops of the Latin cities of Lavinium and Tusculum. The war then ended with a peace treaty, Foetus Cassianum, in which Rome allied itself with the Latin League. It is also possible that Rome was accepted into the League as a leading member. More detailed provisions of the treaty regulated the joint defense under a Roman general and the division of the spoils. In the early days of Rome, the legion was the name given to the entire military force of the city, which was raised and commanded by the two consuls. As the Ager Romanus grew and when there was a special need, additional legions were formed. The legion's origins lie in the middle of the 7th century BC. In the 4th century BC, the legion may have been formed in the Greek-influenced hoplite phalanx, which was equipped with lances as its main weapon and divided into 3,000 companies under three tribunes, tribuni militum. At least later Greek and Latin authors believe that the Romans once fought as a phalanx. This is disputed in modern research. In addition, there were probably 300 companies, centurii, of horsemen under the three division leaders, Tribuni Celerum. In total, Rome's attack army at the beginning of the royal period consisted of around 3,300 men. The strength of the legion was doubled to 6,000 infantry and 600 cavalry after the mountain Romans of the Palatine were united with the hill Romans of the Quirinal. At that time, legion was the name for the entire contingent of the Roman state. The citizens of the first contingent between the ages of 18 and 46 probably served in the legion. The older generations had to man the city fortifications at home. The legion of Roman citizens was joined by the troops of Rome's Latin allies, Socii. As Rome expanded in the 4th century BC, several legions were deployed simultaneously. As part of the Servian military reform under the legendary king Servius Tullius, which is said to have also led to the construction of Rome's first city wall, the legion was reorganized according to later tradition, Titus Livius. It now consisted, it is said, of 6,000 men in six rows plus 2,400 men of light-armed troops. In the first four rows of the phalanx there were 40 centuries of fully equipped hoplites, classes, in the following two rows, there were 10 centuries each of the not fully equipped hoplites of the second and third wealth classes. The citizens of the lowest wealth classes provided 24 centuries of light armed troops who also had to fill gaps in the phalanx if necessary. In addition, there were usually six centuries of cavalry per legion. 